fair inspecting later on. Uh, one of our next projects I think I'm going to start on this boat um, will be the, the prop tube through the bulk head here. So I might finish this off, tidy it up and then get a move on with this prop tube. I've managed to get some braces in place now and it's welded up. All of the, the web plates and profile bars are welded back up again. So the, the rubber post is in a nice uh, stable situation now. Um, I've also cleaned the inside of the rudder tube completely and I've greased it from top to bottom. But before I did that I treated it with some um, Furtan anti-rust treatment and then I've greased it thoroughly, I've cleaned all the bearings and the, the top shaft up and it all slid back together really nicely. Now I managed to put the rudder back in position outside and when I tightened up the, the flange bolts, the shaft flange bolts, it's put a little bit of pressure on the shaft so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's a little bit out of alignment on the very bottom bearing. So the next step I'm going to do is get down and adjust the position of the bottom bearing cut. Um, I think it needs to go forward just a fraction to line up or to take the tension out of the shaft. Before I tighten the flange bolts up, it, it, it rotated really smoothly by hand, no problem. But as soon as I tighten the bolts up, it's gone a little bit tight, it's binding. I can still rotate it, but it's a bit tighter than it was. So that tells me there's a little bit of pressure on the rudder shaft because it's not um, lined up perfectly with the bottom bearing on the skid. So that's where I'm up to right now. Uh, if you look down there, I don't know how good a view you can get of that, but you can see it's nice and clean down in there and there's plenty of grease around that bottom bearing. The bottom bearing just slid back in, all I had to do is tap it. So that's really good. Um, and what I did also is I put it in and then tapped it back out again to see whether that was still binding up before I put the shaft in and the bottom bearing just pushed it out with a little bit of tapping with my um, my removal with my removal tube so um, so it's looking good and I'll keep that grease up, plenty of grease in there and around there because obviously this is not finished and when I come to paint the boat I'll pull the rudder out and do one final clean up I'll put proper machine bolts, so at the moment I've just got temporary bolts I'll work together. I'll put proper machine bolts through the flanges and through the bottom um, bearing cut. Uh, and we should be good from there. It's been a pretty good day today overall. I've managed to get the rudder post welded up again uh, and get some braces in place. Um, I've got the rudder back on. I was a bit uncertain about alignment it, it felt a bit tight when I first put it back on and put some bolts in um, but once I got the, the bottom I'll show you the bottom bearing cup once I got this bottom bearing cup back into place I got some pins and a bolt through it um, it came up lovely it's nice and free and moves easily and um, as you can see up in there the bearings flush, sits nice and the whole rudder moves really well now. I don't know if I can get a shot of this, I'll just get these magnets out of the way. But um, it's really smooth movement now. I just touch it and it swings, which is perfect. So that means we've got a good alignment right through, the bearings are nice and lubricated. And because I had so much trouble uh, getting this bearing out, I cleaned out the inner surface of the rudder tube after I got the bearings out, and then I um, I ran a rotary sanding um, pad up there to get the, any rust, any loose debris out, and then I treated it with a bit of anti-rust treatment. And, and then I smeared it with a little bit of grease and I smeared the outside of the bearing with a bit of grease uh, and it just knocked back in. I mean, it took a little bit of tapping, but it went in nice and tight. It was, it's not going to fall out. And it's got a lock screw on the other side anyway, so once it's, um, once it's set up permanently, I'll put the lock screw in there and make sure that can't move anyway. 
Um, but yeah, the, the rudder moves really nicely, as I said. So yeah, it's a pretty good job overall. Came out pretty well, and I'm quite happy with that. Um, I can move on there, and what I'm planning to do next is I'm going to, I've got the um, prop shaft tube and the prop shaft and prop all ready to go. So I'm going to bring the prop shaft down through this lower area here, obviously. Somewhere between the back end of the keel and along this bottom line, bring that rudder tube through and run the shaft out. So that's going to be the next project. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and um, please do remember to click the bell below to like and subscribe to my channel. It would be very much appreciated. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.